Well, folks, it doesn't happen often that I unbox something and get an immediate strong WTF reaction. All right, so this is a knife that Gearbest sent me for review, and it is a very pretty one, but it's got issues. Boy, does it have issues. There is no brand. It's simply listed as Outdoor Hunting Sharp Damascus Steel Straight Knife for Collection. So, Damascus. First problem here, I mean, technically it's just pattern welded steel, but Damascus is commonly used as a term, even though it's technically inaccurate. But the real question here is, what steels were pattern welded together? And in the product details, it only says stainless steel. Okay, which stainless steels? That's pretty important, because if you pattern weld, say, 420J2 and 7CR17 MOV, it's not really going to be a great result. So the handle is really what defines this knife. That's what makes it eye-catching. It's very pretty to look at. It's made of dyed camel bone, resin, steel, and brass. So, good number of layers, a lot of contrast going on. You know, it's got the visuals really nailed down. However, when you hold this in hand, you immediately notice something really unpleasant. There, do you see this? Can you see that? that disc sticking out quite a bit. This is hard to show. I can get my fingernail in there pretty well. And the problem is, this is a sharp edge. This is actually sharp and very uncomfortable to hold on. In fact, it feels like you can literally cut yourself on this. It's that sharp. I don't know how they made it this sharp, considering how polished everything looks, but yeah, I guess they just polished all the pieces individually and then assembled them without taking care of this sharp edge. The other main problem here is this. <laughs> can you believe that? I can rotate this entire thing 360 degrees. Now, I was hoping that perhaps this is threaded and it's just loosened up, so I tried to do something here, tighten it, but it's not really going anywhere in either direction. Another issue is the handle is almost round. I mean, it's somewhat oval, but really it's, it's mostly round. That is not really good for a knife. It doesn't tell you which direction the, the edge is pointing in. It's very slippery. It does not give you a good grip. You know, traction, what's that? We don't need that. I mean, aside here, I mean, you'll get plenty of traction once you skinned your hand on these sharp edges there. So the handle is like an RPG character that pumped everything into charisma, but, you know, dumps that on everything else. So here's the one good thing. The actual blade itself seems quite good. I don't know what steel it is because they don't tell you but it's well-shaped and it is remarkably sharp. <laughs> of course, now that I've tried, but here, there we go. Shaving sharp and all. This is one of the best edges that I've encountered out of the box. I gotta say that. And it's a good blade shape overall. You would call that a modified Warncliffe, perhaps. And it's a nice pattern. Personally, I'm not a fan of the indentations here, but otherwise it is a very nice blade. So I guess if you wanted a, a project blade and want to just strip everything off or alternatively just reshape it and refinish it and, and tighten it up, uh, yeah, it would be quite a bit of work in it. So that's good, but the fail doesn't end here. I want you to look at this and tell me what's wrong. <laughs> How on earth is this supposed to fit? This is clearly a mass-produced cheese for some other knife or you know some generic knife shape. There's absolutely no way 
this can fit. Like, if I try to force it in, this, this is as far as it goes. There. That's it. I can't even use the snap closure. I mean, I can. I can close it up like this. And voila, <laughs> it does absolutely nothing. So this sheath is a joke. Like, this is literally mocking the customer. Like, oh, you, you thought you thought you would get a sheath that actually belongs to this knife and that it actually fits in? How about no? I mean, I guess it comes with a sheath that fits. There you go. Patented paper sheath. But at least they give you a cloth to dry your tears. So needless to say, I'm not impressed. So this plate goes for $46.90. Now that's Canadian dollars, I think, so US dollars is going to be a, a bit less. But even so, I mean, come on. It's really a shame because it's, it could be really nice. It's very pretty. It's a beautiful design and everything. If despite all that you're still interested in this knife, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. But I'll also put links to much better knives there. Just saying. Anyway, hope you found it amusing or something, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one, folks. Stay sharp. Quite an edgy way to end the video, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll shut up and leave now.